Is it recording? Oh, yes, yeah. Look towards the camera. I am reviewing the Laowa Argus CF 25mm 0.95 Apple lens. Some internal features of this lens is it is Apple chromatic. So what that means is it has minimal chromatic aberrations, which uh, helps with uh, sharp photos. It does have a nine blade, uh, nine diaphragm blades in it for the very smooth bokeh, as you saw from some of the pictures, because I've been shooting it wide open at 0.95. And overall, the, um, the focusing ring, it's, um, it's very, very smooth. And it's internal lens design, so there's no moving parts, so dust can't easily uh, get inside. And our model to help me with this uh, review of this lens today is? Hi, my name is Erica Tomata. Um, I did just take a look at the photos, some of the photos that we took a little, little bit ago. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they're beautiful, you know, I think that uh, the way that this camera captures the colors is very flattering to me, but also it's capturing the environment in the background really yes. beautifully. So I'm really impressed so far with this camera. Yes, and I like it. It's um, the lens we're using. It, it's a little bit wide, so um, it's not what I'm used oh, yeah. to because I'm always used to like close, you know, yeah. subjects. And this is Erica's uh, third time, by the way, on the yeah. channel, and I really appreciate you helping me out. Always, I mean, it's my pleasure, really. Yes. And it was kind of like, you know, in a rush. You actually just had class and you right. just came down here. But yeah. um, we're getting really awesome photos so far. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep on shooting. So using the Lava lens for a little bit um, on this portrait shoot, it feels really good in the hands, really well built. It feels solid. It does have a 62 millimeter filter thread. It has a click and de-click aperture for both photo and video. It's not that heavy, around 575 grams or 20.3 ounces. And so we're getting a lot of nice environmental portraits. This lens is a 23 millimeter in crop sensor format that's around like a 38. 0.95 is equivalent to maybe like a 1.4 in full frame uh, format. So I'm gonna keep on shooting Erica a little bit more. Still waiting for the water. So the way I'm shooting is I have, uh, this is manual focus uh, design. This lens is manual focus only. So I'm shooting it on the Nikon ZFC. Uh, using focus peaking and I need I need to set it to sensi the sensitivity to high so, Just so I can see Because um, wide open 0.95 very shallow depth of focus uh, Very shallow sorry depth of field I should say very shallow, but it looks like I'm getting sharp images I forgot to mention the oh my gosh lens design it has 40 elements in nine groups also, uh, the metal lens hood is very thick and it's sometimes it's kind of hard to remove, but I like that so it doesn't fall off. But yes, you can actually put some force into it and remove the metal lens hood. And the lens cap that comes with it is very nice. Kind of feels like a leather in a way, but it just slides on top of the um, lens hood itself. And so uh, we're gonna shoot here a little bit. And then Erica does have a second outfit and we're gonna shoot up there in the, in the parking lot. Uh, near the beach. Yeah. 
it's okay, this is meant to be shot in light. Alright, so I'm gonna shoot Eric at all apertures. Just you check for sharp sharpness. Sharpness has been hot lately. Okay, this is a 0.95. One, two, three. Good, one more for good measure. Erica, just hold that pose. I'm gonna change the aperture to 1.2. Good, same pose. One more, this is gonna be at 1.4. This is gonna be at F2. And lastly, a 2.8. I'm sure it's gonna get pretty sharp. But the good thing about this lens is sun has set already and this 0.95 is really helping me shoot um, past sunset. The closest this lens can focus to is 0.34 uh, meters or 34 centimeters. And in US measurements, that's about 13.4 inches. So I'm going to see how close I can get. 13.4 inches until focus peaking. So I'm really focusing on, on Erica's eye like that. And as you can see, yeah, that is pretty close and just melts the background very very shallow depth of field let me uh, do more of erica's face half one two and three very hard to focus 0.95 yeah but this is pretty good if you want to get really close shots look at that you can see erica's eyelashes <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah, my contact yeah. lens. Contact yeah. lens. Oh wow, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. All right, as you can see, it is way past sunset, and I've been shooting this lens wide open at 0 0.95, which lets all the light in. Ooh. Oh my God. I guess they just turned on the street lights now and we don't need our cell phone for the, for the main light here. Uh, actually, we could even still continue to shoot with this, um, this lens here because it does let in a lot of light as you, can, um, as you saw in the video with the later pictures. Uh, but Erica, how did you think um, the lens performed on this photo shoot? I'm very impressed with it, really. I didn't think that we would be able to get very many photos given mm -hmm. there's so little light out. It was mm -hmm. so dark, I could barely see anything, but the camera was able to capture uh, pretty much everything and in very high quality, and it, it, it looks great. Like, I'm mm -hmm. very impressed with this lens. Yeah, and just full disclaimer, Laowa did send me this lens for review for you guys. So I'm actually reviewing it before the release date. Um, it is actually September right now, and I believe the lens will be released soon. But um, thank you to Laowa for sending me the lens for this portrait review. And I'm sure we got good photos. I can't wait to go home and look at the pictures and edit the pictures and just, it's kind of different, you know, out of my comfort zone, because I'm so used to, close subject shots, blurred background, like how we did it in the other video uh, with the other portrait lens. And so this is still getting out of my comfort zone and doing like environmental portraits, getting um, the ocean, the sky, and even out here in the sidewalk in the sky in the parking lot. But again, thank you so much for helping me out. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye. All right, let's take a look at some raw files. These have not been edited, not touched at all. I just want to say that this was shot on the Nikon ZFC. It is 20 megapixels using the Lao Argus 23 millimeter 0.95, which is equivalent to full frame of like a 35 1.4. So I was getting out of my comfort zone and using it for like environmental portraits. So zooming in, shot wide open 0.95. It is very sharp. Erica's face is very sharp. Uh, zooming in 200% on a 20 megapixel uh, image. Very sharp. Really impressed by the sharpness of this lens. And I'm going to show you here in Lightroom. Uh, sharpening is default at 40. 
and has not been touched. Just look at the bokeh, it's smooth. And second fold I wanna show you here, let's put that away in the side, is this is taken at a distance, raw file and AF has been touched. I was lucky enough to get the bird in the background, but even at a far distance, I was maybe about six or 10 feet away, 0.95, very sharp, wide open and bokeh in the background, it's nicely blurred out. And even at this far distance, there's good subject to background separation. Next photo, closest focusing, I believe it's around 13.4 uh, inches. Let me click reset here. So there seems like there's a slight haze, zoom in 100%, but what I did, as you saw the edited photo already, I increased the haze slightly, and then I go down to sharpening and add about from a 40 to about a 60, and yeah, it is pretty sharp and the bouquet here is very smooth. The fall off is very nice. Here I was testing uh, 0.95, 1.4. Let me see if this has been edited. No, actually this is a, a JPEG, so that's a slightly off. This is actually 2.8, as you can see the bouquet in the background. I was missing focus here a little bit, the sun was down. And lastly, 5.6. If I show you, let me see if I can show you a, a building here that was across us at the university. This is shot one wide open at 0.95 raw file. I stopped it down to 1.4 and as you can see it's sharper now. Let's zoom in, sharp now quickly. So again 0.95 and then 1.4. Again 0.95, still slightly sharp. And then one before it just sharpens up really quickly. Now one of my favorite photos is has to be here, Erica, where you know the sun is kind of it's a it was a gloomy day, so the lighting was very soft. But if uh, you want to try to use this for environmental portraits or even just a general photography lens, and you love manual focus, I would really re recommend this. It was well balanced on the Nikon ZFC. Uh, the focus ring is smooth. Um, my copy was a little bit damp, but I'm sure over time of using it, um, it's going to loosen up. Uh, aperture uh, clicks uh, very nicely. And don't do anything uh, that is kind of difficult to get on and off with a metal lens hood, but you just have to put some force on it, as you saw in the video, and you can take it off and put it back on. But other than that, uh, it's a pretty sharp lens, especially um, wide open, and I think it's really good for portraits and just general photography. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography, and if you haven't, please subscribe.